Hey guys, did you know that during the Dominaria United story, a bunch of planeswalkers from throughout the multiverse are recruited to fight against Phyrexia? One of these walkers is Ren, whom Teferi tracks down on the plane of Crydha. Crid, hey? Crid. Whatever. If you're not familiar with Crydha, that's okay. It's a plane featured only in one of the oldest magic novels, The Cursed Land by Terry McLaurin, and it's one of the stranger worlds in the multiverse. Crid is a very small plane, containing only a small group of islands amidst an uncaring ocean. In the center of the largest of these islands sits the clan tree of Crydha, this plane's analog to a world tree. The clan tree is pretty important to Kridhe, as it is intertwined with the only major ley line on the entire plane, making it the primary source of mana on the world. Now why, must I ask, would Ren be on this world? All we're told during the story itself is that she and Seven were basking in the tree's mana showers, whatever those are supposed to be, and that Teferi had a hard time convincing her to leave. I have my own theory on this. Ren is a dryad, a type of fae that has to bond with a tree in order to live, but her being a planeswalker means she has to frequent the blind eternities to travel about, and the trees she bonds with are slowly being destroyed by the energies of the eternities with every trip. Now, Ren's current solution to this problem is to just bond with a new tree every so often but perhaps a more permanent solution can be found in the clan tree. The clan tree of Kridhe is basically one giant tree-shaped ley line, a mana-infused plant. Such a tree could possibly withstand the energies of the Blind Eternities without issue. It's possible that Ren was on Crid in order to abscond with their clan tree, which would make for a good permanent traveling companion. A less malevolent option is that she was waiting to see if one of its acorns had sprouted, as perhaps an offspring of the tree would also be infused with that same mana. It's just a neat coincidence that the one planeswalker that cares about being bonded to a tree is on one of the few worlds with a huge, magically infused tree. What do you think? Was Ren really just sightseeing on Kridhe, or was she looking for her next traveling partner? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.